Hello, my name is Marlene and I am a hoarder. But not really. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jolene and my mother is a hoarder. Oh my gosh, what did she say? You know what? I do not consider myself a hoarder. I just like my stuff because you you never know what you're gonna need. Uh, could you could you really live live without this or or this? Hello, my name's Irene, and I live here. I mean, my mom's a hoarder. Tastes good. Say I throw out all the old magazines and newspapers, and then Jolene needs them for a school report. Or or Irene runs out of diapers again. Then what are you gonna do? <gasps> oh. Brian. I'm a uh, Marlene's living boyfriend. I met him at one of Irene's pageants, standing in the back just admiring all the little girls. I don't really mind the mess because it's better than my old place, which with my mom's basement. Because she's really into collecting clown figurines. I, I don't know, I kind of freak me out. I sent in this video to submit my mother to your TV show because she's a hoarder and she won't admit it. And I am tired of smelling like this place. You know what? I know Jolene loves me and she's just trying to help me, but I like my things and I get stressed out when people take them. I think my mom is a hoarder and I want her to go on a TV show to get rid of her hoarding so I can find Susie, my favorite cat, because she's been missing for a while. It would be nice to sleep in a bed though. A pile of dish rags and old paper towels is starting to smell kind of funny. Ever since her one cat got lost down underneath it. She's just playing hide and go seek, I think. The smell don't really bother me no more. It's kind of homey. It's kind of it's kind of a nice thing to come home to every day. You know, that's just how I live my life. My glass is always half full, and oh, I got a lot of glasses. So if you put them all together, then at least half of them are gonna be all the way full. That's my motto. I mean, look at this. I'm scared. I'm so slut. It's kind of a joke. The Hunger Games. Just saw that one. I did four of those to my collection. Uh, Cedar Point. Oh, here's one from the zoo. Oh, I love the zoo. I miss the zoo. Haven't been able to go since the cat ran off with my car keys. <laughs> I don't live here anymore, but my little sister still does, and I'm just worried because she seems to be picking up some of my mom's habits. I need all of this. It's really scary. <laughs> that doesn't taste good either. <laughs> I am Marlene's psychologist and um, I have been working with her for quite a few years to try and overcome her hoarding tendencies. Yes, It's been quite a challenge to say the least. <sighs> I think it would be great if you guys could come in here and um, just not do anything to it all. I'd really like to see uh, Marlene get some help. It'd be cool if she go on TV too. So I could be like, hey, I'm banging a chick that was on TV. <laughs> That'd be cool. It all started back before my husband left me. Um, he didn't like not being able to use the shower. On account of that's where I kept all my cats. I mean, if you think you can do better than me, <laughs> AMC. Whoa, a TV network. Go ahead and try, you know. I've been working with her for years, but I'm sure you can come in here in a week and take care of her deep-rooted psychological problems. This is my bedroom. I slept here for 13 years in this closet. Since then, my, my warden has kind of spiraled out of control. My daughter suggested contacting you fine fellows at AMC for some help with my problems. I, I said okay, but only because I thought I might be able to meet those ghost hunter guys. Those guys are so cute. 
prom was so embarrassing. No one told me that I had an old diaper stuck to the back of my dress till like halfway through the dance. It was so embarrassing. It was so embarrassing. It's like so embarrassing. Yeah, no, Jolene's got point. Uh, she does got a lot of stuff. She does. But you know, rich people got a lot of stuff. We don't call them orders. Girls. Yeah. Snip, snip, snip. I just feel bad for her and I want her to get help. Sometimes I like the mom's waiter because you find snacks all over the place and you get to eat them. That's fun. That one tasted good. It's just, it's not really a problem, it's more of a convenience thing, you know? Everything is around me, not my convenience. I don't ever gotta get up. It's great. I'm fine. I'm fine right here. Nice and comfy. I don't need any help. Thanks, IMC.